hello youtube today i'm going to show you guys how to turn your pc or your laptop to a full-time hmi all needs to be done by just these few steps okay it's critical but it's serious all you need to do is just choose the right cp then start to work now if you go to some industries you see operators sitting in front of four or five different type of pc with different graphic display this is how it is done okay step seven now all of us now to insert station 300 of course we open this one rack Real. Insert your CPU. Let's take a um, CPU three fifteen. This one. No. TPP in here. Take this one for example. Okay. We are not using router for now because router is when we want to access the, the, the plant or the, the CPU wirelessly to sort out problems. So let's leave router. Let's take this one new. Let me see. This is uh, Solomon. Sorry. Solomon Internet. Okay. so you can see the line here so to configure our profi bus and npi you double click on this there's not yet network you can see it's not yet network no you click on profi bus this address can be very depends which one you want to use new then if you want to set your speed 1.5 is okay nice network then you save and comply okay go to this page insert your station which my station There are various type of HMI which I don't want us to use. These ones are common with us. We have been using them. You can see different type of HMI. We have been using all these ones before. All these ones. I have been using them. What I want us to use is your own PC on your own laptop you are working with right now. You click on PC like this. Yeah. This is the PC. You say OK. It should load. Take some time, yeah. Well, wow. okay. Good. Now we have our HMI on board. Now we have our program on board. You notice that from here to here is your program, here to here is your HMI. Now what we need to do, we need to know how to connect our HMI and the program. You go to NetPro, this symbol here. Click. Now, physically, if you watch, the step 7 is being configured by profibos and my Ethernet. But this one, no configuration. So you double click on this, you go to industrial CP, find where you have industrial CP, go to HMI station, you can see industrial, let me close this one, you 
can see industrial cp industrial internet you click you click the first one drag to this column you can see the address is the same as that one but if you click on my solomon internet to change good then you say okay they save and comply they go to your net pool you can see it has been connected now but for us to know if we don't have error we need to comply again check comply and check everything if there's no error it will tell you no error but if there's error it will refer you to go and check again so we cross check everything we have done no error as you can see perfect so you close this page now you come to the HMI you come to communication you come to connections you open connection on the HMI to cross check okay. now you can see our connection but it is off it's not active so you put it on on now you see this is our HMI, this is the CP, and this is the step 7. So, another thing you need to do is to check your device settings. How big the screen is on your PC here. Device settings. Open device settings. It's very, very essential. You can see the size of the screen. So, this one, if you want to start to write your program, the main screen will come to that later. This is the device setting. The length at which you can cover your, your screen. Let's take uh, this one 1024 by 768. Let's go online and see. Let's just simulate and see how big it occupy. Let's just run it. You see, you just take the space here and leave this space. But I want it to take over the entire space. Okay, so let's go further. Let's take this one and try again. Okay, you see? It, it, it tried to push more further. You see? Try to push a little bit. A small space remaining. Close. Let's see. By this, let's begin. Then this is perfect. So I hope you understand what I just did. Now, for us to write this program, let's just write a small program for you to understand. Let's rename this one as maybe main page. We're going to start from the main page here, okay? Maybe auto, I put my name. Maybe comment, training. Okay. So, we'll take our first screen like this. It's going to be like this. Like this. See? If I take my button like this, um, just place one button here. 